Hey there, folks. So, uh, I, um, haven't done a video in a while. I know that. Uh, I'll be doing a channel update here. Um, I'm actually going to record it tomorrow. So, I'll tell you guys what I've been up to. Um, <clears throat> we'll get more videos going again here pretty soon. But, uh, I've been, I'm sitting here, uh, repairing NESs. Uh, I've got a, I got a big lot. If you follow me on Twitter, I got a hundred uh, a lot of 150 games and three NES consoles for, like, mega cheap. I'll do a video on that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm sitting here uh, just trying to restore some of these things, and I found, hands down, the grossest console on the inside I've ever seen in my life. Um, this thing is just disgusting, and I felt like I had to share. So, uh, if dust and hair and grossness um, grosses you out, feel free to just not watch this video. I won't be offended. Uh, but, yeah, I felt like I had to share, so here we go. All right, so this is the worst uh, NES I think I've ever gotten. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, check out all that dust right there. Um, and all that gunk there on the board. Yeah, some there. I can't tell if that's corrosion or if that's um, just, like, hair and grossness. You got some cobwebs hanging out here. I also found this guy. You guys can see it. It's like a little, like, nut thing. Uh, rattling around inside the system. I don't know how something like this gets inside one of these. Um, all the screws are here. It doesn't look like it's been taken apart before. I don't know if somebody jammed it through that hole back there. Um, or what. But this thing is a super gross. Um, so I'll be taking this pin connector out here in just a minute. And uh, I'm going to go boil it because, one, that will help re-straighten the pins um, and retrain them because it doesn't work right now but two it will sanitize it and I'm thinking about boiling the everything plastic I can find on this console you know other than the logic board because this thing is disgusting um, you know somebody's grubby whatever that is on the, the power button the reset button um, I think this one is a is a new record it's gonna win an award for most disgusting system I have ever come across um yeah and i know this isn't a proper video but good grief i i mean i'm i took this thing apart and i figured i had to i don't know i had to share this this is disgusting um you know this shield is usually right here if you don't know how these work this is a this is a, an anti-static shield uh, that goes over the system, so it kind of protects everything on the inside. But, like, you lift this thing up, and I don't know what happened with this thing. But, um, yeah, this came out of that, that lot of three consoles and 150 games that I got. And uh, I don't know if it was the guy just, like, picked it up at Goodwill or something, or if he was actually that, like, gross and dirty, which I don't think he was, because most of the games are in pretty good shape. But, like, yeah, this thing is disgusting. So, anyways. Oh, and, uh... Would you click that? We got a uh, some dust in the the release there, but see that guy right there? That is a uh, dead spider. See him hanging out? Um, odds are he's been dead for quite a long time. He's probably a spider mummy, but uh, super gross, super gross. And now we get down here. We're gonna get under the board. I haven't actually uh, taken these back two screws out yet, because um, that's what I have to take out in order to get out of there. Um, seeing this right here, though, I'm a little afraid of what I'm going to find underneath. Um, I might catch the Black Death from this thing. I'm not sure. So if you guys never see another video from me again, you know what happened. Um, but anyways, well, let's take the, uh, the pin connector out there, lift up the board, see what happens. All right, now that I got the pin connector out, uh, I gotta unhook these two little. Those are the controller cords, and then that right there is the PSU, the power supply uh, cord. So it runs right to that power button right there. Gonna throw those out of there, um, and then we're gonna lift it up and see if there's anything like that hanging out under there. We'll see. All right, we got those uh, those connectors out of there. You can see there's the uh, what that little connector header cable thing looks like. Um, that's what controls all the controller inputs in an NES. But anyways, we're going to lift this up, see how it goes. If it's anything like that down there, which my my 
bone battery is almost dead, but you can see the grossness. Um, so the flash turned off. But anyways, see what's under here. And um, surprisingly, not a lot. I'm actually pretty surprised. Uh, I expected a little bit more. I guess all the dust collected right there in that that weird pile of whatever it is. There's oh, there's a lot of hair in there that's super gross. Um, but yeah, that's what this thing's like. So I'm going to restore it. I'm going to clean it. We're going to get it working again. Oh, man. Would you look at that RF switch right there? That is gnarly. That's that's just sad and disgusting. And so normally, um, in systems that are in this kind of condition, inside here, this is the power supply for the system. I usually have to uh, take these caps out and recap them. Um, if I take this out of here, uh, you can see this is a this is a, a an enclosed box. So this one. Um, you lift up on these little tabs that are kind of right there. You see that little tab? Um, and that little top pops off. I bet I'm going to have to pop that top off and clean out what's in there too because it's probably going to overheat the system. Um, yeah, this thing's in really rough shape. So we'll see what happens. Um, if we get it fixed, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but the board itself actually looks like it's pretty clean. A lot of times you see stuff like this and the there's corrosion and crap on the board. Uh, also, this thing smells like cigarette smoke. Like, I don't know if you guys know, electronics can pick up cigarette smoke smell, uh, and it's really hard to get rid of it. Um, the plastic case, it's pretty easy. You just throw it in uh, soapy water, let it soak overnight, um, clean it off, and do that a couple times. You'll get rid of that cigarette smell, but you can do that with a circuit board. You can't really give a, a circuit board a bath in water, so the circuit board is just kind of always going to smell like smoke. So... Uh, let that be a lesson. Don't smoke around your um, don't smoke around your uh, consoles because it makes them smell like crap, um, and you can't ever get away. But anyways, this is probably a good uh, a good um, this is probably a good candidate for a custom job uh, that I'll do because the plastic is in such rough, discolored shape. But we're gonna get clean. So, anyways, there it is. Yeah, and that was the uh, grossest console I have ever cleaned. Um, I got the uh, the pin connectors boiling right now, um, trying to sanitize and get this thing to work. I put in uh, a game. Um, I just grabbed a copy of Winter Games. It's a terrible game, but it, it's, it's a game. and I know this works. This is a very clean board, um, and it wouldn't fire up at all. It was just nothing. Blinking light all over the place. So I'll... Uh, I'll post an update um maybe in that that pickup video that i uh do tomorrow that i record tomorrow i'll post and see if um maybe i got it fixed we'll see but anyways that's about all i got you guys have a great night and i'll see you next time uh lots of new videos coming soon gonna get back into the swing of things all that jazz so have a great night i'll see you next time